Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, good morning. How you doing? You alright? Today is Tuesday, February the 6th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number 2, episode number 37. In today's show, I will talk about riding the bus, White Castle, and Agent 99. Let's go. So, in 1971, my brother and I were 14 and 15 years old. Back then, we used to... Uh, either ride our bicycles to school, our mom would take us to school, or we walked to school. What we rarely did was ride the bus to school. Did you ever ride the bus to school? It used to meet on the corner right over there by my house. And it just seems like it was the nerdy kids that rode the bus. And I rode it a few times, and I never did like it. Because you couldn't control who was going to sit next to you. You couldn't control how hot it was in the bus. In the summer, it was hot. And in the winter, it was cold. It never smelled good on the bus. You had to get up really early to ride the bus to school. When you came home, you got home late. I remember my mom would say, I'd say, Ma, can you take me to school today? It, it's supposed to rain. Ride the bus. Ma, oh, please, I don't want to ride the bus. Well, ride your bicycle. My bicycle, Ma, my bike's got a flat. No, I just ride the bus. And I'd say, okay, I'll walk. I just didn't like the whole bus thing. I didn't like sitting there on the corner with your lunch in your hand, waiting on that big yellow school bus to pull up. It just seemed wrong. And it, a lot of the people in the band were on the bus, and they got instruments, and they're taking up two seats. I'm out on the bus. I'm out on the bus. I rode the bus one time from Dallas to California to see my biological dad. My mom put me on that bus, sent me out there, and I was in Tucumcari, and I nearly got in a fight. I was sitting outside in between buses, and I had my chair leaned back, you know, you know, the four-legged chair, and I leaned it back on two. And some guy came over and he started giving me static for doing that. And I'm probably 17 or 18. And uh, I didn't like the static. And we got into a confrontation, but it didn't. It didn't come to blows, thank goodness. I'm not a bus guy, but I am a Chuck's guy. Let's check that Chuck. Check that Chuck, you big old. Ooh, hey, what do you got there, boy? Look at that. I've never seen that before. No, sir. First time I wore them. Look at that. So, what we have here is a black high top Chuck Taylor with a black and blue Converse Chuck Taylor All Star logo. You've got a clear toe. Look at this blue marbling. And it even comes up past the sole up into here. It's black and blue marbling. Two vent hose, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Look at that. What do you think about that, y'all? I'm going to say it. Y'all say it with me. These are, say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. These really are some handsome chucks. 
Every now and then. Okay, Southern Slang. This is something I made up years ago. What's the deal, Pickle? What's your beef, Jerky? Dad joke. It is not necessary to take a person's advice to make them feel good. You just got to ask for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yogiism. Baseball is 90% mental and the other half is physical. Strokers Dallas merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Check out the cool stuff we have online. I'd appreciate it. If you have a bike you're not riding, we'd love to sell it for you. If it won't start, we can come get it. Get it running, sell it, and write you a check. We advertise all over the country. We sold two bikes on Saturday to people that just walked in the door, not expecting to buy a bike, and they fell in love. That's the way we sell motorcycles up here. People see it, they fall in love. You know, we get a lot of people that come through here. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. I wish I met some people a little earlier, some a little later, and some never at all. What does that mean, Mr. Fairless? That means you're going to meet a lot of people in your life. Some will be really good friends, some will be casual friends, some will be acquaintances. And some are just not your uh, not your cup of tea. But I'd give everybody a chance. You know, you're not supposed to be friends with everybody, but it wouldn't hurt you to try. People can bring a lot of love to your life if they're the right person. Okay. You still digging the show? It's number 37, you know. Season 2. I'm going to leave you with this. There was a television program back in the day called Get Smart. The head character was played by Don Adams and his character was Maxwell Smart. Remember he had the shoe with the phone in it. He'd pull a shoe off and make a phone call. And his sidekick was Agent 99. Good looking brunette. Tall girl. But did you know that on that show, that was a prime time comedy show, Johnny Carson made two appearances on that show. So did Len Leonard Nimoy, Carol Burnett, and Regis Philbin. Did you know that Don Adams, Maxwell Smart, did a White Castle commercial playing Maxwell Smart. Did you know that? Here's what he said. You can get a fish sandwich and an order of fries for only 99 cents. And that, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. A lot of things going on. We had a good night for the Monday Night Jam last night with the Dollar Store Generals. They do a great job. We appreciate Kenny and Kelly and them. Great guys. And uh, you should come out on a Monday night one time. Wednesday we do karaoke. Thursday we do trivia. Live music Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, y'all come see us. What's the deal, Pickle? Gotta go. Love you. Bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.